guys. So today I have a Canon um, Pixma Pro 100 printer that I just purchased. I'm going to go ahead and set it up. Um, so we'll let's, let's see how it goes. Um, got this from what is it? The Adorama camera, and um, there's a sticker on the box that says they stuffed paper in the box. There's a paper pack that's supposed to go along with it. So let's see what, what it actually has here. There's my paper pack. It's huge. Wow, no wonder they're saying. They say the paper pack's like 70 bucks. I think I spent like 50 or I think I spent $60 on the printer in the paper after a rebate. Like I spent like 400 bucks or 300 bucks or something like that. Um, but hopefully I'll get it back as a rebate and it's a big hefty pack of paper, 50 sheets. So that should be cool. Um, let's see, so we open the box. Is there any warnings or anything? Um, I don't really see, usually it's like, do not do this, do not do that. Um, so we'll open this thing up and then on top here's one of these His warnings about oh, um, important proper handling of the print head. Okay, um, and then it starts going into like installing the print head. So I just put this over here, and we'll keep that in mind. Um, the wires, stuff. So we'll have to use those. Um, looks like print cartridges. More print cartridges. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little print cartridges comes with this thing. Cardboard inserts, a CD, and instructions. And let's put it by this print head so I don't damage that. I'm going to take the printer out. Maybe this is the print head. Print head. Very careful with that. This thing and hopefully pull it out. This thing's fairly heavy. It's a big printer. Um, and then inside it has a little sample pack of paper. What do we get? Um, oh, I mean, five sheets. Five sheets of this luster. Um, Eight and a half by eleven, plus eight and a half by eleven, five sheets comes with the um, the printer, and then this was an addition. This is fifty sheets of thirteen by nineteen. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We'll see what the difference is. I've never really printed photo quality before on an inkjet. Usually, it's always been like um, I don't know, not photo quality. I'm hoping that I'll get prints of equal quality to like what I'd get at Costco, maybe. You know, get straight in. Don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. Alright, let's see. The CDR tray. In case any of you still use CDs, CDRs. It looks like it in the box. Um, let me get this big old box. Push this to the side here. Pick this thing back up. And it's a fairly hefty printer. As you can see, it's really, really large.
different colors. So there's four there. And then here's four here. And um, you know, I don't know how to tell if these things are like samples or not. Um, it does look like it's like sectioned, like I see the ink moving in there and it's like sectioned off so you get like that much is ink. But I don't know, there's something over here too. So maybe that's just the way that the, maybe this is like the absorb, absorbent material and the ink, ink flows into that. I don't know. Um, I don't know if these are samples or not, I guess is what I'm getting at. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how many prints we get out of those. And then you get the print head, which you want to be very careful with, according to the instructions. Um, the plug, and then your USB plug. USB plug. And then you get the instructions. Yeah, let's just get started. I'm going to start with this getting started poster here. And um, see if we get this thing done. It's just a printer, right? How hard can it be? Yeah. Connect the power cord. All right. Um, oh, look at this. Big. Um, so I'm going to just turn this thing around. This thing's so heavy. Yeah. Maybe 40, 40, 50 pounds, something like that. Yes. All right. So power. Um, yeah, so there's a power outlet over here. And then on this side, there is like this little network jack and um, USB. USB network jack, and that's it. That's it for connections. So keep it simple. Power's on. I almost expect it to make some type of noise or something. Do something, come on. Ooh. All right, so let me just try this thing around so you can see all of that happen. not scratching up my table. Okay, so next thing I do is turn it on. Connect power, press the on button. On button is right here, right? Oh, wait, right, no. <laughs> You're here. Go to light. That thing is it's doing something. Press the on button. Power lamp lights white. We want that to light white. And then we open the paper output tray. Open the top cover. Shift in it. This is blinking. I expect this to like turn solid when it's done. Seems like it'll turn solid. Should say that though, right? Press the on button, then check that the power lamp lights white. What does that even mean? It lights white. It's blinking white. Ah, lights white. That's solid white. Why can't they say like wait till it's solid white? Wait till it goes from blinking to solid. Got a little Wi-Fi button here. So we got this power button, paper feed, I don't know, triangle button, and then Wi-Fi button, and then something down here. Oh, it's like a little, ooh, look at that. Oh, USB, USB connection on the front. Oh, I bet that's like for connecting a something to print. Ah, who knows? Maybe just to connect the USB on the front. Um, that'd be interesting to see. All right, so we got solid white. Open this. Open this. I think I did that in the wrong order, but. So. Put the head lever, this thing. Yeah. Stops. That wasn't hard. So I got like, these little tear things here. Tear one side. Please don't fall out. Please don't fall out.
I'm nervous to touch this thing. Where to drop it? Give you all these strict warnings. Okay, so here's the print head. Here's the cap that they want me to pull off. And then this thing goes in like so after I pull this cap off. And then I lower the print head lock lever completely. Easy enough. What could go wrong, right? Let's do this. Yank. Don't touch that. And don't drop it now. Let's just slide this thing in here. Hopefully we don't touch any bits that are sensitive. Oh, that goes in so nice. I'm just touching stuff that I know is safe to touch, or I think is safe to touch. And then this comes down. I expect a click. Let's see how hard I have to push. That was a click. Doesn't go down any further. Very pleasant. Very pleasant. I like it when things go good. All right, so let's try to get these um, print cartridges in. Um, let's see. So there's little letters. In case you're colorblind, you can always look at the letter. All right, so these just kind of go, looks like, under and in, and then they have a little snap that snaps in. So this is M. I'm going to go with the one on this side and go over. So this has a little uh, thing you pull down. This paper comes off. And yeah, I mean, it looks like a full print, full ink cartridge, right? I don't know if there's a difference between this and a regular one, if this is a sample or not. Um, looks like a real live ink cartridge to me, so we'll see. We'll see how many prints we get out of it. Oh, oh, <laughs> I forgot to take this off. So this is the red, the orange thing. They said to twist off. Let's see. Just twists off. And then you slide this in and snap it down and we get a light that lights up. So you know that it's good. It's good. Next is PC, so we got Y there. Um, this one's way over here. PC. Whoa, now this one. This one came off and was a little wet inside. And there's like actually ink in there. And I got some on my hands. So. I said they don't they don't drip well that one dripped a little bit so you lost a little bit of the gray all right so I got them all in there they're all lit they're all at the same level um, so looks good all right so inner cover which is this one, I think. That's closed. And um, check that the lamps are lit. Check that the inner cover. And then we close this cover. All right, I guess. We close the top cover. Wait two minutes until the power lamp flashes. All right. I have to read it like five times to understand exactly what to do. Print head alignment. Be sure to perform the print head alignment to achieve better printing results. Number one, open the printer or open the paper support. Uh, paper support. So, and like so. Right? Um, open the feed slot cover, then move the paper guide into both edges. Feed slot cover. This opens up. All right, I got our paper. We'll slide that in like so, I guess. Just kind of fits in there. Pull this across like that. Pull this feeder thing out. Now this thing takes up like more space. It's like maybe double width or double yeah, depth um, after you pull all this stuff out. So make sure you have a table that can accommodate or shove it under a desk or something like that. Um, it's wireless, so you know, maybe in a closet or something. Oh, let's see here. Um, bah, 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 bah. We did that. We need to push the resume cancel button. Um, and 
then it says, when the second page of the pattern is printed, print hand alignment is complete. Some parts of patterns printed on the final page are faint. It may take time before pattern printing begins. If the pattern printing does not begin after three minutes, press and hold. Resume cancel button until the power lamp flashes for four times. Then release the button and start the pattern printing. Right. Let's hope we don't have to do that. Um, all right. Let us push. We got solid on this. Yep. This button here. Beep. We have a few more minutes and then we'll hold it down. We're like already into the troubleshooting steps, which always sucks, right? right so once this thing turns solid, I'm gonna hold this down, let this blink five times, four times. One, two, three, four. Do it. Do it. Yeah! Woohoo! Come on, come on, come on. Print me a nice pattern. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Alright. And it's actually printing out a pattern, which is beautiful. Alright, so that's our that's our pattern print. Um, print head alignment. You know, I don't know if this is like I'm supposed to look at this and say it's aligned or not. It looks good enough. I guess as far as like how much space, I guess you could measure maybe the offset. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not really sure what it's actually aligning for the, the print head alignment. Um, but it should be good now. Um, so Wi-Fi to set up wireless. So there's a few ways to set it up. Um, I opted just to set it up with Canon's IJ network tool that I found on Canon's website. Um, it's really straightforward. Um, everything went smoothly and um, you know here's some of the results all right so we got this thing set up um, printed one sheet off already let me just go ahead and show you um, how this thing prints it takes to do a print and then um, basically uh, quality I'm going to take a sheet of this um, luster pro paper pro luster or photo paper pro luster um, that they give you. This is a sample pack. You get five sheets. So um, I'm going to go ahead. There's one side that's kind of sticky. The other side's flat. Uh, I presume I put the sticky side up. So put that in there. And I'll go ahead and um, come over to my computer and press I'll let that sit for a minute or two because I don't know how long it takes the ink to dry. But um, here's an example of one that I printed earlier. So um, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's got some nice shine to it. It matches everything I'd expect from a photo from um, from Costco or someplace like that, right? You get something printed at Target. And this one, vibrant colors, you get the sheen, looks like, looks like a photo, um, looks great. So, all right, well, it is what it is, it's a printer, prints out pictures, so, hope it was helpful, thanks for watching, bye.